It's funny how things work. In 2010, I wrote this blog post, which also appeared on the website of the San Francisco Chronicle, fsfgate.com. Libby Schaff's running for mayor of Oakland with Lerpa Sleuth's help. And this was orig this originally appeared in 2010. And um, Lerpa Sleuth is April Fool, spelled backward. And I wrote that Oakland has a new candidate. Now, you're looking at the date up here. No, that's the current date. But this was written in 2010. It says, Oakland has a new candidate for mayor of Oakland, Libby Schaff. And I went on to say that Libby would throw a curve into the r race that had become staid and predictable. And that she would take on Mayor Ron Dellums, Don Parada, Councilmember Jean Kahn, and Councilmember Rebecca Kaplan for Mayor of Oakland. With her vast network of friends, Oakland roots, and supporters and involvement with the city of Oakland, Libby Schaff will take voters away from all of the candidates, from the incumbent Mayor Ron Dellums to at-large Councilmember Rebecca Kaplan, who reportedly went on an East Coast trip to secure backers for her own planned run for mayor. The legendary at-large council member Emeritus Henry Chang was present and smiling ear to ear saying, only in Oakland, Libby could win. And when asked what her next steps were, Libby said, I have to sit down with my advisors and my new staff member Lerpa Sleuth and we'll roll out our vision and plans for Oaklanders to see and get behind. Mayor Libby Schaff, it has a nice ring. I can't wait to see what Lerpa Sleuth comes up with. Stay tuned. Now, I wrote that April Fool's Day of 2010. Lerpa Sleuth is April Fool spelled backward. It was an April Fool joke. But the year before, in 2009, I said to Libby that she should run for mayor. Instead, she ran for council in 2010 and won. That blog post scared the hell of a lot of people. But this time, it's right. Because Libby is now mayor-elect Libby Schaff. Congratulations, Libby. It has a nice ring to it. And the question is, what... Well, first of all, how did she win? First of all, she ran because she she won because it, it, it's a midterm election and the people that were out most likely to vote were her base. Mostly white, middle class, but a good smattering of minority and an enormously large group of women voters in Oakland. Very large. Just anecdotally, I don't know what the numbers are, but anecdotally, the largest I've seen in a campaign, involved in a campaign. But Libby also ran a campaign that wasn't divisive. It didn't appear to close out anyone. It didn't appear to take a side. She was progressive, but not so progressive that you couldn't believe that she would have a, a great relationship with the business community, which was there in force. She ran a campaign that was focused on her being Oakland born and bred, made in Oakland, as she put it. And that branding was really effective. She hammered it home. She stuck on message and continued with it. But the most, the one thing you can't get away from is the fact that her constituency, her District 4 constituency turned out to vote. And the voter turnout overall wasn't bad, about 46%. But you have to remember during the presidential election, it was 73%. That's right, 73%. So according to Tim Dupuy, while these numbers are better than expected, they are still low compared to the presidential election. And that result brought out the demographic most likely to put Libby into office. Libby won by a landslide. This is an incredible win of massive proportions. What should we do with it? Which, what, what will she do with it? I, I have to say, I honestly don't know. Because it's one thing to have ideas, but it's another thing to, to take power and implement those ideas as opposed to changing course and doing something different. I know that Libby cares very much for those who are struggling to get a great education, Education has always been, as long as I've known her, uh, a cornerstone of her activist work. 
And I expect that to be reflected in how she runs the city of Oakland. But there's something else too I expect her to do. And that's not wishful thinking on my part, although it is. She's going to be hard on the Golden State Warriors trying to move to San Francisco. And she alluded to that at the Oakland Sports Forum, perhaps even to the point of a lawsuit. I certainly hope so. But it's a new day in Oakland with a truly professional mayor. Nothing against the previous Mayor Kwan at all. But Libby worked for a number of great Oakland politicians. She's not going to make the mistakes that Mayor Kwan made. And there's there are a lot of mistakes that Mayor Kwan made. You're just not going to see from Libby. Libby is the first white woman to be elected mayor of Oakland. Congratulations, Libby. <laughs> wow. And that, folks, is certainly no April Fool joke. <laughs>